Welcome back in the next topic about the Android attack server. Let's dive into deep links. So what are deep links? Deep links are a specific type of links which can be handled by an app or by your Android device. So an example of a deep link is a specific scheme which you can define in your app. So for example, my app is the scheme instead of a default protocol like HTTP or HTTPS. So if you specify a URL, this text starting with this scheme, and then you can specify a host and some parameters. So also, if you can see the scheme URL, it started with some scheme like FB, maybe for the Facebook app. Then the host, a host is usually something like profile.com. Then it can be a part, and the part can also contain query URL parameters, as you can see in the other example. And those details are also defined in the Android manifest again. And there's also an updated version of deep links which is called an app link and an app link is more secure and has more validations so we can quickly look into the documentation so if we go to the android documentation there is some documentation about handling android app links this picture also shows you that deep links can handle uris so any prefix and web links or app links can only handle http and https schemes so that's a different and deep links can handle any scheme and this is how you can see it in the android manifest so it can be related to some activity with again the exported flag true and then there is an intent filter and the default or most common filter for a web link would be default browsable and then the most important thing to search for is android scheme because this means that everything starting with geo will be recognized by the app and then app, and then your device will ask you if you want to open this link with a specific app which matches this scheme so that's a very short how this works and again the OWASP testing guide is also very useful which will also explain a little bit about the differences between deep links and app links and also how can you check for those deep links in the Android manifest? And you can also use some tools like ADB shell dumpsys or some third party or additional tools like Android app link verification tester. So let's continue with the security issues. What kind of security issues are there that are related to deep links? Deep links are usually related to web view activities in Android. And if you don't protect your web view or you misconfigure it, then it might be possible to load an arbitrary URL in a web view via deep link phishing attacks and also insecure parameter handling can cause a lot of issues. So if your deep link also supports those query URL parameters, then this can lead to cross-site scripting, path reversal, cross-site request forgery where you can steal data from users or maybe submit something on behalf of a user. And also remote code execution is possible. But there are some nice, quite recent examples as well of vulnerabilities. So an example of cross-site scripting, remote code execution. And the last one is also related to uh, account takeover via a misconfigured deep link. So if you followed the previous lab, we already used this insecure shop application. And within this insecure shop application, there's also a vulnerability called insufficient URL validation. So allow loading of arbitrary URLs via deep links. So this one is interesting. So what we can do, we can start with the Android manifest again. And then if we search for scheme, then you can see in this Android manifest, there is one scheme defined with the name insecure shop and also with an host com insecure shop. A second option to get this information about the scheme is ADB shell dumpsys and then the name of the patch com insecure shop and then you will also get a lot of information about the application. It is still a little bit hard to find but what you can see in this case schemes insecure shop com insecure shop web view activity filter with a few default browsable. So this gives you a little bit more details to so this com insecure shop web view activity is something we can investigate further and what we already could try on the device now you can already see this insecure shop app is launching but it might not be complete so let's look a little bit more into the code especially this web view activity com insecure shop web view activity and the on create that one is probably the most interesting and 
what you can see, it does something with Yuri get path web. This is something we might need and also query parameters. So data get query parameter URL, try web, and then URL is google.com, for example. And now it already loads the Google website. So this already proves that it is fundable and you can trick a user into visiting some malicious website via this app. So you can try this yourself in the other demo apps and of course in our lab. So this was it for the deep link examples. Please try our labs regarding the web view vulnerabilities and deep links. I hope to see you in the next video.